Coming up, we're going to be reviewing The Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 2, A Distant Echo. Echo! 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 Echno! Echno! Welcome back to Eye to Eye, Disney Through Our Eyes. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jessica. And on this edition, we're going to be breaking down the second episode of Season 7 of The Clone Wars, A Distant Echo. Breaking it down for you at 6 a.m. before work. If you can't tell by the dark rings around our eyes. Yeah, the scrubs The grogginess. <laughs> me and... It's not pajamas, but I basically am in that. So. Right, because you don't have to go to work at 6 a.m. You get a little bit to sleep in. <laughs> It's just the things that happen in life, you know? Mm-hmm, just, mm-hmm. You just kind of figure things out. To... So we're here. <laughs> we're obviously here for you. And I guess we're going to talk about Season 7, Episode 2. Yes, we're going to break down this episode. And to start off, like just like we did last time, I think we should keep the tradition going. And I will do my reading of the opening dialogue of the Star Wars, Episode 2. Just an echo. Get excited, people. Conspiracy! After repeated setbacks on the planet Anaxis, an elite clone squad is deployed to investigate the Separatist tactical advantage. Led by Commander Cody and Captain Rex, this special unit called the Bad Batch infiltrates Admiral Trench's cyber center to steal a strategic algorithm capable of predicting the Republic's every move. What our heroes found was a live signal from the ARC trooper known as Echo, a clone long believed to be dead. Okay. That was great. (laughs) Well, if you don't like my rendition of the opening dialogue, I think you always do a great job with your 30, now 30 second reviews for the great. episode. Should we get, always do such a good job. The 20 second one, I thought she could squeeze it in, but the problem is when she does her little plot reviews in 30 second or 20, any kind of amount of time, she always like spends so much time on the beginning part of it and forgets that she has. So I, I don't this, like doing these. It's too stressful. All right. Are you ready? So this is Jessica going to tell you what happens in the plot in 30 Couldn't seconds. I'm tell you what happens in 30 minutes, but go. All right. And go. So these people are going these and they've got to go get Echo and they've got this transmitter thing and then they go and then there's these things that look like um, avatars, like they're on these little banshee looking things. And so they, they hijack one of them because they steal Anakin and so they go and they're trying to kill all those guys, but they don't want to kill them. They just want to stun them with their blaster guns. And so then seconds. they get them um, and then they get Anakin come back and then they go and they find Echo and he's like in this chamber thing and he's like hooked up to all these machines and then that's the end of the Three. episode. Okay, look at you over there like somewhat getting it in there. I mean I think you left out a lot of the plot details of that You one. gave me 30 seconds to review something that, that's 30 minutes long. But how about this? You do, you've done 30 seconds for a 45 minute show with The Mandalorian. I mean right. if, you, if you can do that in 30 seconds. I can't. I can't do any of it. And it is early in the morning for her to be completing that whatsoever. Can I just point out, let's, look, before we even get into like the details of what's actually happening here, can we just point out you focusing on these creatures being called, or like avatar people? That's what they look like. You don't think they look like banshees and everything? Okay. Even the sound that they're like, it's like the avatar you mean, ride. You mean wings? I don't know. That's, that's usually what happens when things flap their wings. Maybe. I don't know. I don't not watch Avatar. To the reptile things that are like flying around out there. Well, anyway. It, okay, I will give you this. It looks a lot. They're tall. They're kind of skinny. And then yes, they fly on these giant reptilian-looking things. It's and just, people land like like they they ride on them. Yeah, yeah, they do. So <laughs> Avatar. Because that's exactly the only thing that happens in Avatar. I don't know. I've never seen Avatar. I, I will give you this. I can understand why you make that reference. It's just to me, it, they're like it's a lot grimmer looking than Avatar. You know, like, Avatar is all this cool blue and like fluorescent looking stuff. And this is like all dusty and g- brown and green and purple, scary and crazy and all that kind of stuff. These people are called the pole tech people and they were like being poles. So I guess it's like the most unimaginative name for them. So not Avatar, the pole techs and not Banshees, Karadex. Get your, your lingo right there, Jessica. Before we go on, the adventure here we get to finally see Anakin a little bit more mm-hmm. which is what you really wanted to see right because I missed him from last episode and you get to see a little interaction with him and May in this yeah. one what do you think about all that it just reminds me of FaceTime <laughs> it's, it's like, like the it's original like full FaceTime. FaceTime on this one 
Uh, did you think that she was pregnant in that one? I thought it yeah. because she kept like holding her hands over her stomach and I was yeah. like, mm, maybe. So Captain Rex is, is helping apparently um, Anakin hide his conversations with Padme. Mm -hmm. And like, so yeah, she's standing there the whole time. And she was, you know, that's kind of a very like regal or proper thing to do. When and you, maybe that's, maybe that's but it. then, but then, you know, that last shot we see of them with, you know, together, the hologram and Anakin, she lifts her hands up and it does look like there's a little bit of curvature. I told you. But to me, like it was less, like that was the shot from the trailer that we saw, but it wasn't as obvious to me in this one. It, I felt like, like it was more reduced. Know. I don't know. I'm just like. Maybe she's not super pregnant. Well, probably not. So if that's the case, then this is actually happening during episode three. But I don't know. That's, what did the I, internet people say? Did they think she was pregnant? I think most people probably thought she was pregnant because it's the same clip. But to me, it looked like more subdued. Okay, that's it was just something that I pointed out or noticed in this that I wanted to point out on this. Um, the other thing is, is that apparently Obi Wan knows. Yeah. Like about this, you even asked that. You but were, I knew he would know because he's a Jedi. He knows. He's all knowing. Jedi's aren't all knowing. They just are. They great. have senses. They are intuitors. They have things. They have things. Yeah. The Jedi senses. <laughs> the Jedi senses. I just love that as he's walking away after Rex was trying to cover for him, he's like, he goes, How's Padme? Or, yeah, basically, it's like, I hope you told Padme hello for me. Yeah. It's like, so, but here's the thing I think you don't know this because you haven't watched the rest of the Clone Wars. There's a lot of history with Obi-Wan and a former love interest, too, that he never acts upon. Yeah. So I think that's why he's kind of tolerant of this, because he understands what it's like to love someone but not be able to act upon mm -hmm. it, even though he probably is. He knows that they're acting upon it. Clearly, by the fact that they're pregnant. Uh, if they are. If they are. Uh, the opening quote for this one was, The search for the truth begins with belief. Does this one fit really well with this one? Kind of? Mm, I guess. Well, the only reason I say... You know, it's just kind of a generic quote. You can is. really make it fit. The only way it fits is because if you remember, Captain Rex at the beginning is like convinced. I believe that Echo's alive. Nobody, everybody's yeah, kind of true. like saying it could be, but you they even said prepare yourself. Yeah, that he might be dead or a traitor. That was brought up too. Yep. That he actually could have gone to yep. the other side, yep. which we'll talk about in just a second here. Uh, so they go to this planet uh, with the Bad Batch again. Again, these are Hunter. Uh, I'm trying to remember all their names: Wrecker, Tech. Crosshair, and then we've got Anakin and Captain Rex, all part of this mm -hmm. crew here. And they're going to uh, where this signal's coming from that they found. And it's got uh, Watt Tambor. What did you think? You thought he looked, uh, th this general, he looked like Gumby? Is that what you told yeah. me? Yeah! How, how did you get Gumby out of that? Green, gum-like texture. But he had like robot all over him. like he was Here, like, but all up here was square, rectangular, whatever shape. I, so when she said that was Gumby, uh, we had just started uh, talking about the droids that were like part yeah, of Yeah, Kyle base. was like, what? I was like, where are you getting Gumby from those things? Like, first of all, let's talk about those droids. Did they not give you the creeps? Little sick little things? Like, not like, any more than any other droid. I don't know why they gave me this. It, it, it reminded me of stick bugs. You yeah. know, like, I kept thinking of Bugs Life and the stick bug yeah, in I that hate one. Those bugs. It just ooh, gave me the willies in that one. I just, like, Droids in general don't bother me, but like just seeing the little skinny ones that like I feel like they just come up here. Like, stop! See, you stop, see what I'm talking stop. about? You see what I'm talking I hate about? Hate those bugs. <laughs> uh, we talked about the native people. We talked about Wat Tambor, and apparently he knows that they're coming because the spider general guy mm -hmm. told them that he's coming. So of course it's like the common thing in Star Wars. It's a trap. Everybody knows. Right. I'm surprised you didn't quote that like when they, when he said that. Like that's your favorite saying. Just, it is, but it's not from Admiral Ivar. You missed an opportunity to. I'm just, I'm just saying. So, mm -hmm. all right. So they bust up into the uh, base here, and even though it was a trap, they're able to actually get into a chamber and find where the signal's coming from. Um, Captain Rex goes in there with tech, and they open up this chamber and they see who. Echo. Echo is actually. I thought he was dead at first. I thought, yeah, like that they were just keeping him alive, but mm -hmm. then it kind of looked like, again, Avatar. You know, they have him in those chambers and there's all yeah, these okay, tubes that had and a, stuff. Yeah, they had an Avatar feel, yeah. And remember, I've never even seen Avatar. I'm going off of what's on the ride. So that, he falls out, too. Like, that was, like, really creepy. Oh, uh, yeah. Could you imagine? I would have peed my pants and run. There is no freaking <laughs> Let's way. Let's be honest. Did you pee your pants a little when you saw it on the... On the on no, the because it's a cartoon. <laughs> sure, you even went <laughs> like that on that thing. Well, but, all those tubes like to his brain yeah. and his arms and 
Yeah, no. It was creepy looking. I would not have carried him down. I would just left him there and been like, help! Well, the, you apparently picked up on this thing, and I didn't until I read about it, that he actually, I didn't notice that he had, like, prosthetics on yeah. him. Like, apparently he's been through some, it's not just like he was captured. But and, his arms looked like prosthetics. Yeah, that's what, I, I, I guess he'd been some through the ringer, so to speak. I mean, if they've got tubes to your brain, I'm betting so. Oh, last thing I want to talk about. The Bad Batch plans, they have the most obvious names for them. Like, you know, every time Hunter is like, uh, Bad Batch! Plan rock slide, and then it's like literally we're just gonna push a rock down. down right. I forget what the one was last time. Plan like shield or something like that, and the guy picks up a shield. It's like for being this like ultra awesome marine unit, they had the most obvious. Well, to plan be fair, names. every time they give out a plan name, they're in company of people who don't speak their same language. Wow, I just had my mind blown right here by Jessica. By somebody who doesn't really watch that much Star Wars. At very early in the morning. <laughs> I don't know what to do from here. All right, how about our big question? You, we each asked a big question after the end of each episode. What was your suggestion? I mean, obviously mine is going to be, how the crap did they get Echo out of this chamber? Yeah. Because my concern is, if they take all these tubey things off of him, A, is it going to kill him? Are those keeping him alive? And B, is it going to send a signal mm -hmm. to the people who are holding him that he's missing? I don't know that those are keeping him alive but i wonder what removing him from them will do to right. his like not just his body but like think about how his mind like you can already tell when he comes down he, he barely recognizes rex and he's like you know like in a stupor it seems like so i just wonder pulling him off of that what's it actually going to do to his brain and if it's going to mess him up even more and maybe he won't even survive after that my question is why echo see they've had Ample opportunities have the millions of clones that they fought to pick one and use it for these purposes. Why did they start doing it now and why Echo? Like, was it just because he happened to be there? Sure. Or did he have some he type of... He had some sp special intel. He had special, a certain set of skills that make him very dangerous. I'm trying to bring in all the genres into this one here. So that's our big questions for episode two of the Clone Wars season seven. Now we want to know what's your big question. Let us know down there in the comment section below and make sure you vote in our poll as well. What else should they do? If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. And that's all we have for you in this edition of I2I. But until we assemble again, may the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Okay. Is this how you stretch your back? It doesn't feel like you stretch your back though. Okay. Press your arms together, it stretches out your spine. Like that? No. Is that anything right here? Remember, I'll say something you say. Okay! I'm trying to remember the first thing you told me. Ethno, ethno.